Hello and welcome to Docplex's news. The Supreme Court has asked the center and aims to expedite the action plan on growing menace of drug abuse. The court further cleared that no extension of time will be granted in formulating the policy as the issue is of national importance. While asking the government to create awareness regarding serious consequences of drug abuse, the court has directed the center to include harmful effects of using drugs as a subject in school curriculum. The All India Organization of Chemists and Druggists have announced that they are planning to go on a strike on September 28 to oppose the online sale of medicines. The president of the organization said that if the government does not consider their appeal positively, then they would go for a nationwide indefinite agitation against online sale of medicine. Ayush Ministry had sought MCI's approval to perform surgeries in modern medicine hospitals. The ministry stated that surgeries are a part of the Ayurveda curriculum and Ayurvedic doctors should be allowed to perform surgeries. MCI refused this proposal considering the rules where cross-pathy is prohibited. According to a new study reported in Gastrointestinal Endoscopy, nearly 90% of patients with gastroesophageal reflux disease reported relief of regurgitation with laparoscopic magnetic spinter augmentation. This technique provided significantly better control of moderate to severe regurgitation when compared with PPI therapy. The study proposed that patients with uncontrolled regurgitation should be considered for treatment with this technique. According to a recent study, the collateral use of atezolizumab with BVC Zumab along with chemotherapy improves survival in patients with non-squamous metastatic non-small cell lung cancer. Atezolizumab is a pdl one blocking antibody which has proved to be beneficial in lung cancer. This immunotherapy has demonstrated efficacy and safety when added to platinum doublet chemotherapy in patients suffering from non-small cell lung cancer. Scientists from the University of Manchester have developed the first non-antibiotic drug to treat tuberculosis in animals. The drug works by targeting mycobacterium tuberculosis defense rather than the bacteria itself. This drug can also take out its increasingly common antibiotic resistance strains. The Ministry of Health and Family Welfare has announced the implementation of HIV AIDS Act 2017 from September 10, 2018. The Act prohibits discrimination against HIV patients in terms of treatment, employment and workplace. The violation of this Act would lead to imprisonment of up to two years or a fine of rupees 1 lakh. The government has recently prohibited the manufacture, sale and distribution of 329 fixed dose combination drugs for human use. The decision was taken after a notification passed by the Drugs Technical Advisory Board stated that there is no therapeutic justification for these ingredients and it may involve health risks to humans. This move will affect over 6,000 medicine brands worth Rs 25,000 crore across the country. Around 46 million people are living with dementia worldwide. Every year, 21st September is observed as World Alzheimer's Day, the most common cause of dementia. This World Alzheimer's Day, let us get some insights from Dr. Zadam about the disease. This September 21st, we are observing World Alzheimer Disease Day. According to statistical data, 1% of people above 60 years are suffering from Alzheimer disease. So Alzheimer disease is one of the most common cause of dementia. It first involves part of the brain that controls thought, memory and language. So Alzheimer disease is caused by collection of abnormal protein in brain called plaques and tangles. People with Alzheimer disease will have trouble in remembering things that happened recently or they will have difficulty in naming people they know. Eventually, they will need total care by their family members. There is no effective cure uh, available for Alzheimer's disease. So we have to diagnose the disease in very early stage to try to limit its pro progression. Exercise habit, proper healthy diet, and keep your brain active 
to avoid getting alzheimer disease thank you thank you dr zadav for sharing your valuable insights we urge your community to share their views by commenting below these were the latest happenings in the medical field brought to you by doplexes one of the largest online communities of doctors stay tuned for more every thursday at 6 pm happy doplexing